Welcome to another presentation in the series of CADFEM ANSYS tutorials. We'd like to deal with a question that might possibly have passed through your mind last time you were on a flight. What happens if a blade comes loose from the turbine? Would the housing withstand the strain? And would it retain the blade? Or how does it actually strike this so-called containment vessel? What is in mind is a containment test that constitutes part of a crash test that is also relevant to turbines in the realm of power generation and in other situations involving rapid rotation. So in the case of machine tools, we would be looking at when they fracture, or again, we could consider rapidly rotating drive systems. To carry out an analysis for this purpose, we would use LS Dyna. Once we've imported the geometry, we activate the LS Dyna extension, which makes Workbench LS Dyna available to us. We link the analysis to the geometry we've just imported, and then go over to the mechanical editor. We define all the properties by going through the tree directory from top to bottom. So here we have two components, the containment vessel and the blade. There is a contact between these two components, so-called body interactions, which we define as being subject to friction, with a friction coefficient of 0.2. When it comes to generating the mesh, we select a mapped mesh and select an element size of 30 millimeters. This is only a very coarse mesh, but it suffices to demonstrate the general procedure. With respect to our dynamic analysis, we can define the initial conditions, i.e we define an inertial velocity of 2000 rpm around the global x-axis. This is what it looks like around the axis. We set the parameters of the analysis to define how long we want to observe the behaviour of our component. In this case it will be 20 milliseconds. And we must also include how many steps we want to include in the calculation. So we define this at 200. Then we start the calculation and define the result which we want to see, for example stress and deformation. So let's activate the result. And then we can observe what occurs. And it's important to note that a scale of 1 to 1 is very useful here, with a film containing 200 images in 10 seconds. And now we see the blade flying off, and in this case it remains contained within the housing, as there is no criterion that would impede it. The contact had the effect of ensuring that the blade is caught by the containment. The same again with respect to stress. We could employ an additional step to define material properties for the containment vessel. When it comes to examining failure of the component, there are criteria such as plasticity, stress and strain. These can all be added to the material definition, so that the effect is displayed as seen here, i.e. a component that flies off, that hits and punctures particular material, and this material is correspondingly seen to fail. 